Gamers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Again, we are on location, as you can see behind me, is the beautiful, eternal city, the capital of Italy. We are in Rome. Navona. And when you travel abroad, of course, you need your passport. But when I say passport, I'm not talking about the identity document that you need. After all, I'm Belgian, so I don't need anything else than my ID. No, when I say passport, this is what I mean. The passport scotch. It's a classic blend, and it's in the portfolio of Pernod Ricard. It was developed in the 1960s by a master distiller, Jimmy Lang, and it contains Highland, Lowland, and Speyside whiskies alongside some grey whiskies. Now, according to Shiva's brothers, the whisky arm of the Pernod Ricard Imperium and the owners of the picturesque Stratila and recently reopened neighboring Glenkeith distilleries, they sell no less than one million cases of this passport scotch each year. Now, that means six million bottles per year. That's not bad, but what does it taste like? Well, what I'll be trying is a bottle of passport from last century's early 90s. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Last century. But I mean the early 1990s. And it has this, as you will see, it has this uh, classic, oh shit. It has this classic plastic porter inside, which is a bit weird, isn't it? But anyway, uh, it's in the neck of the bottle. This was bottled in the early 1990s. Now the composition may have changed over the years. The modern uh, composition, I have no idea. But this classic blend, like I said, Highland, Speyside, Lowland whiskies, and some grain. Let's give this one a try. What I do know is that it is bottled at 40% ABV, and it's got this sunlight to bright golden color. As you can see, it comes down quickly from the glass, so it is quite light bodied. Let's give this one a, let's give this one a go. In the meantime, and let's, let's not worry about that, the people around here, this is a very, very busy place. It's the most beautiful square in Rome. The people are looking at me like I'm kind of crazy, but hey, that's me. Anyway, on the nose. It's a very soft nose, mildly fruity, a bit creamy even, and it got some lemon and some banana in there. But it even, it even has a floral touch, which reminds me a bit of tulips. And I got some silver polish underneath. Hmm. It becomes rather special. It becomes somewhat syrupy, like maple syrup in the back. All the way in the back, there's also this very discreet, smoky touch. It is light, but rather an inviting note. On the palate, then. Hmm. Ouch. It is creamy, it is true, but immediately it becomes very bittersweet. I get some wet cardboard, I get some, some oranges, some Seville oranges, but they are rotting already in a cardboard box. And often it works, but in this case, not quite. Mm. The fruity sweetness that you would expect is totally, totally overcome, overpowered by this, this rather bitterness like, like walnuts. Mm. And there is some caramel, some caramel there trying to save the day. But alas, to no avail. Anyway, on the uh, on the on the finish then. The finish is pretty short and, and actually even a bit alcoholic. Some sweetness in there, but again, it's too bitter to be pleasant. Well, maybe it's because it's an older bottling. Um, maybe not. I only just recently opened it to create this little video. Even though it's an old bottling, it had not yet been opened yet. So. It's, there's no possibility of oxidation going on inside the bottle. So I'm not sure what happens here. The nose was more than okay, but the rest of this ram is mediocre to simply bad. So let us quickly forget about this passport scotch, which is a bit of a classic blend, very cheap, very easy to come by, but let's simply forget about it and enjoy the beautiful city of Rome some more. And that is all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. Until then, may the malt be with you. Bye-bye.